Attacks with ATA CMS missiles accelerate liberation of Crimea, Russians are in difficult position. Ukraine has set its sights on Crimea, a critical Russian base. Kyiv's recent missile strike was intended to cripple Russia's capabilities on the peninsula by targeting airfields, air defenses and logistics centers. As the New York Times writes, the skies over the Black Sea have long been dotted with missile trails. However, these missiles were almost always Russian. Now they are flying from both sides. Ukraine, armed with high-precision missiles of American manufacture, is able to reach every corner of Crimea for the first time and the missiles are increasingly flying in this direction. This is a new strategic push. While it is unlikely to have much impact on the front lines, Ukraine's ATA CMS campaign is intended to force the Kremlin to make difficult choices about where to deploy its most valuable air defenses to protect critical military infrastructure. Last week, at a NATO summit in Washington, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky said the Crimea campaign would have limited impact as long as Moscow could redeploy its bombers to air bases deep inside Russia. He pressed the Biden administration to lift restrictions on strikes deep inside Russia. Since the ATA CMS arrived this spring, the Ukrainian military has said it has destroyed or damaged at least 15 Russian long-range air defense systems in Crimea, including powerful S-300 and S-400 batteries. Over the past three months, commercial satellite imagery has confirmed damage to Russian radar installations, electronic warfare systems, logistics routes and airfields. It's certainly fair to say that the Ukrainians have made some pretty impressive strides in the last few months, said Justin Bronk, a senior fellow in aviation and technology at the Royal United Services Institute in London who studied the satellite images. At the same time, he added that new high-tech weapons were generally becoming less effective as the Russians adapted and Ukrainian stockpiles dwindled. The strikes on Crimea would also likely have minimal impact on the fighting on the front lines, particularly in eastern Ukraine. The attacks on the peninsula with Western weapons have angered Russia, prompting it to warn the US of consequences it would face if it provided advanced weapons to Kyiv. Crimea helps maintain Russia's occupation of southern Ukraine and is equipped with ground-based missile systems that are used to target Ukrainian cities. Penetrating Russia's formidable air defenses remains a challenge, but Ukraine has been able to launch attacks this summer that aim to overwhelm and confuse the air defenses. During the massive attack on May the 29th, Ukraine used domestically produced air and sea drones, Western cruise missiles and ATA CMS to overcome Russian air defenses, Ukrainian military and intelligence services said. The attack damaged two ferries that played a crucial role in the military supply chain between Russia and Crimea. Ben Hodges, a former U.S. Army commander in Europe who has long advocated giving Ukraine a long-range strike capability, said he has been impressed by Ukraine's targeting methodology since the advent of ATA CMS. Russia has responded to the escalating attacks on Crimea by bringing in air defense systems from Kaliningrad and other parts of the country, according to Ukrainian and Western officials. The Kremlin has also sent its S-500 Prometheus air defense system to the battlefield for the first time. Russia's tactics for launching caliber missile from Caspian Sea. Expert names main dangers. Defense Express military expert of Ukraine Ivan Karachevsky says that caliber missile launches from corvettes in the Caspian Sea are very difficult to detect by radar. He said this on Espresso TV. The very fact that the Russians can launch Ka-101 missiles from Tu-95 bombers and caliber missiles from their corvettes is very dangerous because missile launches from corvettes are very difficult to detect. The bomber flies at a relatively high altitude and can be seen with a horizon locator. Corvettes are more complicated. They are more visible in terms of radar, so missile launches from them are more difficult to detect. However, we should not think that the Russians will massively switch to launching caliber missiles from the Caspian Sea, but this indicates that they are changing their actions to fire at Ukraine. Kairaychevsky explained. The expert added that the Russians can produce up to 30 caliber missiles per month. For more than a year now, the Russians have been consistently able to produce 25 to 30 caliber missiles per month. And it's not that they couldn't load these missiles onto ships, so there were not many attacks with these types of missiles. 
They were just accumulating them, he added. Recall on July the 8th, the Russian army attacked Kiev with rockets. The attack resulted in deaths and the number of victims continued to grow. July the 9th was declared a day of mourning in the capital. In the Shevchenkivsky district, two floors of the Okmat Dit hospital building were destroyed. Two adults were killed and ten were injured. Several other buildings were damaged. Caliber is a family of Russian cruise missiles that can be launched from ships, submarines, containers, airplanes or transport erector launchers. It has variants designed for anti-ship, anti-submarine and land attack purposes. They were developed and produced by Russia's Almaz Ante Corporation. Depending on the variant, the caliber missile varies in mass and length, ranging from 1,300 kilograms to 2,300 kilograms and from 6.2 meters to 8.9 meters respectively. It has a diameter of 0.533 meters and can carry a warhead weighing between 4 400 to 500 kilograms of high explosive or thermonuclear material. The missile utilizes a multi-stage solid fuel rocket engine with some versions incorporating a turbojet engine or a solid fuel rocket. These missiles use inertial guidance with satellite navigation update. They can accelerate in the terminal stage to supersonic speed to avoid enemy defenses. Range varies between 200 kilometers and 2,500 kilometers depending on the type.